This time we'll be going through the model block definition component and the query model block definitions component. They can both be found in the Rhino tab under the model section. These two components go very much hand in hand. You can use the query model block definitions to get the block definitions and then use the model block definition to edit the block definition attributes. You can also construct new block definitions with the model block definition component. The new definitions must be pushed or baked to the model before they are usable. Query model block definitions work just like the other query components. It has one input, a name, which can be filtered with the match method input modifier and one output block definitions. Model block definition has seven pass-through inputs and outputs. They are block definition, objects, units, name, notes, URL, URL description. Let's go to examples. Here I have some block instances on the right. I am querying the model block definitions without filters and I am getting all of the model block definitions here. Here I am using a contains input modifier to get all the chairs and here I am using the equals input modifier to get the chair model block definition. In another example I'm using the query model block definitions to query the definitions then I'm using the model block definition to extract the data that I want which in this case is the block definitions the objects that are inside the definitions and the names. In another example, I am using the existing block definitions from the file and changing the names and adding nodes to the block definitions. Pushing this content will edit the block definitions as you can see in the Rhino panel in the right.